What's up everybody how you guys doing and welcome back to another video so before today's video I just want to make a quick little announcement I just want to let you guys know thank you so much for all your support we have 23,800 subscribers now and uh, we are not giving up on this channel guys so believe me we are coming back better than ever before now I will promise you guys I'm not giving up on the channel we're gonna be uploading a video almost every other day we're not gonna miss it okay we're gonna go on a streak here and I'm back on the channel just wanted to let you know maybe i'll even do a video every single day just like old times i'm not going to disappoint you guys with any more slacking so let's do this make sure to drop a like if you guys are excited for this and uh, hopefully we continue to grow from here all right so today's video is about how to cheat sleep using science so this person named akshat rathi he was trying to finish his first year of PhD and he needed more hours in the day. So he researched and read and found something called the polyphasic sleep schedule, which essentially breaks one long sleep up into multiple naps through the day. That year, he slept three and a half hours at night and took three 20 minute naps in the day. That's about 4.5 hours a day. Polyphasic sleep is not unnatural. Many animals sleep this way and our ancestors may have too. Segmented sleep where you sleep in two four hour chunks at night was common as recently as the 18th century. Before we got gas and eventually electric lighting. So here's how it works. We sleep in three cycles, light sleep, deep sleep and REM sleep or rapid eye movement when we dream. These sleep stages last about 90 minutes and rotate throughout the night. But studies have found that you don't need to go through that cycle. In polyphasic sleep, you can get the three parts of sleep in three different naps. For instance, in many of his 20 minute naps, he dreamt, which means he was in an REM. The schedule meant he had to nap in a chemistry lab, a bench, an auditorium, anywhere he can find to nap. He didn't drink caffeine, he gave up alcohol, and didn't have much of a social life. Though, there were advantages apart from the extra time he got. He was waking up after a nap just like he would wake up after a good night's sleep in the morning. The long term effects of this are still unclear. One biological purpose of sleep is to clear the waste that accumulates in the brain throughout the day. We don't know whether polyphasic sleeping will affect that waste clearing system, so he might do it again if he has a well defined project like writing a book. But apart from that, he might just stick to a good night's sleep.